Hello. We're good. I am slightly late <laughs> because I was <laughs> chatting with folks on Discord about Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I was like, oh shit, I'm supposed to be streaming. I should maybe do that. Anyway, if you haven't read it yet, it's really good. Or, or watch it. I'm going to watch it. The Flutie Pies are going to watch it this Saturday, actually, if you want to join us. Um, it's, uh, it should be a fun time. Hi, hello. Hello, Jellyfish Lightning. Thank you. I will do my best to have fun with it. I'm going to groove with this music. I love the detail of the music being like tailored for each location that you're in. Oh, we'll miss you on Saturday, Chrono. As a reminder to folks, so that I don't forget, I'm thinking about doing a concert on Sunday, I think the 14th is the date. My roommate will be out of town, so I won't be annoying her, which is important. Yes. Um, I haven't yet decided a time, but I will officially declare that when it is time. Like, I'll post about it so everyone knows. You can catch a badly performed Lauren performance. It'll be great. I haven't been practicing, but that's never stopped me before. Thank you, Violet Square. Thank you for the subscription. And yes, we are almost done with Ghost Trick on Tuesdays, and so Chicory is currently the one that I'm planning on playing on Tuesdays. Um, so after next week, we should be starting Chicory. So if that sounds like a good time, you should join us. And if you haven't been there since the start of a new game, this can be a fun experience for you, hopefully. All right, I think that's all the like, stuff updates that I have to give. Oh man. Oh man. The music's really good. Ghost Trick also has really good music. I have been spoiled by the music quality in games I've played recently. And if I'm going to be playing Chicory next, that one's also... Isn't that one Lena Rain doing the soundtrack? Oh, that's going to be good. Man, I'm pretty sure that Chicory is the Wander Song writer plus Lena Rain, who you may know as the composer for Celeste, teaming up. And so that's going to be really good. <laughs> if you haven't played Wander Song, I do recommend it. It's very charming. It has some frustrating gameplay moments where things are accidentally more difficult than. <gasps> there's. Wait, there's more city! There's more people than I realized, folks. Are you ready for people? We're gonna people. Oh, dummies. There's dummies. <coughs> so I like that they keep putting in that. Doo -doo -doo. They're getting the most out of it. Okay, so am I gonna, can I fight these dummies? What's going on here? Two boxes of rubber pellets sit on the desk. Oh, is this like a shooting range? Best leave them for someone who needs them. All right. Oh, so pretty. It's a good song. This is a kitty. So really this kitty should say meowty because that's what you say when you're a cowboy cat. But that's fine. They say howdy. You got any of that? Any of that good catnip? <laughs> I've been dying to try some. It's what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. <laughs> this is a family friendly stream. We don't do drugs here. Actually, no, catnip is totally fine for cats. It does not cause any harm. Sophie likes catnip, don't you, baby? She's in her house again. Nya ha ha! You were almost tricked! See, nya, nya, that's a cat sound, very cute. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five, right? Because that's the sheriff and his posse. Nya ha ha! Be more careful, partner! 
fact you didn't fall from my trap is pretty neato. Maybe you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Unless you're a bandit in disguise, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I'm only joshing, partner. Ain't no place like the Wild East, I'll tell you that. God, this is such a pretty song. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack's. Today's special fancy holster, great for defense. But then I would have to, then I would have to take my region scarf off. I can't do that. So there's some cards. An unfinished game of go fish lies on the table. That's some some serious cardery right there. Guess they followed through and went fishing. Alright, we got... Oh, it looks like we got a dartboard target thing. It's probably not been used with darts, probably with guns. A fancy but dilapidated building. This confuses you. What? It, 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 it. There's bottles and things? I can't comment on the things. Okay, well, let's go to the weapon shop. Hello, mustache. We got a real honky-tonk piano here. I'm sorry, I'm grooving. Greetings, take a gander, just don't touch anything. We're gonna talk. All right. Such an earthbound base. Hi, Drew. Are you being irresponsibly late? Should probably get some snoozing. That's fine. All right, so I'm looking at what we got at the background here. We got some of those glowy gems, which we know what the gems do now. We got a bunch of guns. And there's like 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 there's one that's clearly I think a regular shotgun which is normal and then at least one that looks like something out of like Halo I don't know and then there's like a bunch of like the little like revolver ocelot guns and then there's this big old thing that looks like a is that a Tommy gun I wonder I don't know and then we got I don't know if it's like a mirror we got some more guns, which I guess makes sense. This is the weapon shop. There's guns. Some of them are funny looking. There's a little teeny tiny one on the right. I don't know. Well, this this individual, this is a mustache. This person is a mustache. All right, let's talk about the feisty five. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. <sighs> Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans, my favorite insult right now. I like that he pulls out a revolver and spins it around. Hooligans, I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always waving them around like they're some child's toy, he says, spinning his gunny gun. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches. <laughs> Alright, your wares. Ah yes, my gallery of babies. Uh, that sounded strange, it did. It did sound strange. <laughs> These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forged them myself in my personal gunsmithing rooms. Gunsmithing award. What is the etymology of smith in that context? And why is blacksmith 
black smith. What did smith mean prior to blacksmithing? And how many other forms of smithing are there if there's blacksmithing and gunsmithing? Is there armor smithing? Silver smithing? Is that a thing? White smithing. Blacksmiths worked with dark metals like iron. Coppersmith, tinsmith. Aluminum smith, tinsmith. Silversmith. Swordsmith? Armor smith? Uranium smith! Plutonium smith! Swordsmith is a real world. Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm just kind of putting words out into the ether and expecting to be told if they exist or not. Oh! Okay, yeah, so smith of Germanic origin, that makes sense. To cut. And so is that named because we are cutting the metal? Or is it named because the metal cuts once we finish smithing it. Because I don't really think of cutting. Oh, so it's to do with like cutting the metal. That's an interesting interpretation of the word cut. I think that that, that meaning has sh that meaning shifted some, or was being shifted a bit. Cut hue. Oh, hue. That's a great word. You just don't hear people talk about the word hue nearly as much these days. I'm sorry. You, uh, you can't be surprised that we're taking a little etymology break here. So gunsmithing, because you hew guns! <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm funny. You know what's fun? I actually don't think I could give you a technical definition of the word hue. It's one of those things that I don't think I've ever looked up. You just kind of, you see it used and you understand it on vibes. You know? <laughs> this is the hazard of reading older books and things like that, is you pick up these words and then eventually somebody asks you what they mean and you're like, I could use them, but I couldn't define them. But the dictionary exists, my friends. So we can turn to the dictionary. Smithereens is a good word. You can blast someone to smithereens. Are smithereens the leftovers after you've smithed something? Is it like smithy scraps? I'm waiting. You can confirm or you can deny. Either way, I will still be delighted I got to play in words. I love words so much. Smithereens is Irish. Oh, it is not. Oh, Wiktionary says that my hypothesis is incorrect. Well, that's fine. From an Irish word that means fragment. Ooh, okay. I just want to take a moment to say, do you see the sort of like etymological hole you can fall into looking this stuff up? Isn't it fun? Isn't this great fun? Don't you want to just read a dictionary for fun? I, I want to read a dictionary for fun. It's great. I used to follow the Merriam-Webster dictionary on Twitter and then they would put words and sometimes they would passive aggressively choose the word of the day and you'd be like, oh, you're making a commentary on current events. I see and I support you. Um, but now I have to actually go looking for my dictionary words if I want them. <sighs> Alas. <laughs> or I can make you look it up for me. Amazing. All right, anyway, <clears throat> back here with mustache. Mustache's personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. That's why you're, they're your babies. That's weird. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. That's why you 
Don't play with guns, buddy. I probably should have seen that coming, but I, I did not. Uh, I saw a band in my rafters. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yes, treat guns like they're loaded. Take them very seriously. And just generally don't play with guns. All right, visitors. The Wild East gets many visitors each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. Now, don't worry. I'm not selling ultra-deadly weapons to any passerby with enough G. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. I, myself, am not one for violence. Are we going to have a commentary on gun safety here? Well, used enough times consecutively, they could be lethal. But then again, a ballet shoe could also be lethal used enough times. See, it's a joke because one of the other souls has a ballet shoe. Is that the kindness soul? I feel like dark blue integrity. Okay. Clearly I don't know. Kindness is the frying pan. Okay. No, I do not recall the ballerina having killed somebody. Oh, well, that would make this line have an extra layer of meaning, wouldn't it? Oh, because the tutu is described as dusty, right? And monsters die and become dust. Ah, and the shoes make you feel dangerous. Okay. That is a fun subversion of tropes and expectations where people think of ballerinas as graceful beauty and elegance but also like I'm, I don't know I think ballerinas are pretty tough and terrifying um yeah <laughs> kindness is cooking for someone that makes sense I'm sorry, I'm, I'm grooving to this honky tonk. Don't tell anyone. Well, I wouldn't, I'm not surprised that this fan game that seems very thoroughly steeped in fanon would reference fanon things like this. Like, we're gonna maybe get something from Gaster because that's a fanon thing. I want to be as clever and good with words as Toby Fox, but unfortunately, I'm I'm stuck with being however much clever and good with words I can be as Lauren. That's all we can do. You can say I like the effect of this person being really clever with words. What would happen if I paid that much attention to the words I use? I am actually kind of particular about the words that I use in my writing though, so maybe I'm not as clever as Toby Fox, but I also write a lot more words because I write things with way too much narration. <laughs> All right. Look, don't question my morality too much. I am not prepared to speak about it. <laughs> History. I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? It seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. So I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters? Every day. But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Amazing. Take a look at what you two got. Okay, gunpowder heals, question mark. It may be edible. Silver ammo. Finally crafted. I wonder if there's werewolves you take extra, or you do extra damage. Fancy holster. Made from leather. Wild revolver. You're too young. I almost have enough money for it. I wonder... There's a couple of things you can't buy because you're too young here. But I wonder if you've been killing everybody, if that unlocks the ability to get that stuff. 
Hmm. Sorry, I'm just grooving. I can't get over how earthbound that baseline is. All right, well, we'll get the fancy holster just in case. Probably never gonna use it, but we're gonna get it. Made from leather. Sure. You have your hands full. What have I got to sell? Anything now? I wish you good travels. So good. Okay. I want to get the gunpowder. I thank you. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the fancy holster. Armor defense eight. A leather weapon holder. Perfect for duels at noon. Gunpowder. Heels, question mark. The forbidden spice. <laughs> Amazing. I bet you take damage, but something else happens. Oh, that sure is a big lock with a keyhole. A giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill. Will you talk to me? You won't talk to me! Come on, cactus! Oh. <gasps> That's a necklace. A broken necklace. Feels very much like a Super Nintendo item. An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Yes. You got the necklace! Hello! broken but dazzling necklace can't be worn could be worth something could be worth something to someone I could offer to sell it to this guy but then not do it okay yeah the, the necklace is in fact worth a lot of money here guess who's not gonna sell that it's me it's me so much. D did you know that? I know it's really subtle. I don't talk about it much. Alright, so I think I've been everywhere else there is to go. I don't think I played a card game. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta go save. This whole thing is just a setup for Flowdy. Shall we play? Yes! Let's play Six Shooter. It's a matching game. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you will be awarded 25G. Under a minute, and you will be awarded 15G. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. Okay. Yeah, no, I think I can follow this. If the deck is empty and there are no possible mass matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. Let us play. Thank you. 
My strategy here is maybe not ideal, but... Ah, shoot. Ah! I can do this, actually. Shoot. No, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. No! Wait, are these touching? Those are technically touching. Oh! Ah, this is going to be the end of it for me. That's fine. I think I can do better this time. Do you mind if I try again? A shame. Would you like to play again? Sure. Then let us play. Sorry, folks. These are mini games I'm willing to play. That is something that I didn't want it to do. Mm. Ah, shoot! That was not what I wanted. Okay. I can still do... I think I did bad. I think I did badly this time. Oh, wait. <gasps> okay, hold on. Shoot. Darn it! Okay, I'm gonna try again. We'll try this one more time. Let's see how we do. Okay? Okay, I think I understand something about the shuffling that I didn't before. Shuffle, okay. This should, yeah, then I can bring these guys back together. Okay, excellent. Shall we try once more or shall we move on? What do you think, folks? I don't know how interesting this is to watch, honestly. I'm not terribly good at it, and I think it's going to require you thinking ahead in a certain way. All right. We'll try one more time. I at least understand sort of how this works. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys always mess me up. Amazing. <laughs> An honest effort. <laughs> I did actually learn a little bit more about thinking ahead. It took me a few tries to realize that things go around this way, that they get shuffled around. And once I got that, um, it made a lot more sense. <laughs> but I still have to, you have to think more ahead than I, I was originally doing. But that's fine. No, this was actually fun. I thought it was gonna be a memory game, but it's a matching game that's not a memory game. Would you like to play again? No, we're good. Very well. All right, well, that was satisfying. I eventually got my money back, maybe. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, Martlet, hi, Martlet. Make it through this clover. I know it. I wonder where I could buy a train. What? I'm just talking to myself. Ignore me. Don't worry. It's super fun here. I promise. All right. You ready to be the sheriff in training? Let's do this. I don't remember what we're supposed to do. If we're supposed to talk to Lone Star, North Star, North Star, not Lone Star. Look, what do you want from me? A stage ready for performance. Too bad there aren't any gigs today. Sorry, look, okay. I'm gonna call him Lone Star. I can't help it, I'm from Texas. What do you want from me? <laughs> more often than I've said North Star in my life. <laughs> no, this is a fan game. A very thoroughly made and intense fan game. Like, they've done a very good job pouring a ton of love into it. And it feels Undertale flavor. Undertale flavored, if not actually Undertale itself, if that makes sense. Like, it's definitely like Undertale adjacent, but it you, you can like you can feel that it's not made by the same writer, but it is very uh very much like in the spirit of Undertale, um, and has its own sense of humor and its own style that are like compatible with, if not identical to. But it's I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it took them like seven years to make. It is incredible. It's better animated than the original. <laughs> Sorry, Toby Fox. And this soundtrack is amazing. They do remixes of original, or remixes of Undertale music, and then a bunch of stuff like this that's their own, which is great. Brilliantly done. Fantastic. I should buy the soundtrack. We should all buy the soundtrack. Support the artists who make things that you, that you enjoy. All right, was there anything else I needed to do? Is there anything else that I said I was going to do that I forgot? Why do you think, Sophie? Sophie's snoozing in her house. That's right, baby cat. I'm talking to you and your little kitty house. Her little ear twitched a little bit. Man. Yeah, I don't have it in me to make a game. It's all I can do to write things. I, I have been working on my latest chapter of my fanfic, though. 
So, and then when that's done, I'm gonna actually dive into writing an original thing again. I think I think I might finally be ready, like over five years since I lost my ability to write original fiction. I'm sorry, I'm just the music, okay? Look. Well, let's talk to North Star. Look, I got it right. Aren't you proud of me? Let's do it! Oh. Are you ready to begin? Are we ready to begin, folks? I think we're ready to begin. I'm gonna do it. I just saved. Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? I did a pretty good job. I'm not, like... Infallible. I have definitely missed things. But I would say overall, I'm pretty thorough in general. Enough that it really annoys people when I miss something and they're like, how is it that you like looked at everything and talked to everyone five times and then overlooked this one thing? And I'm like, man, I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna need to if you wanna be a good deputy. That's right, kid. That's right, that's what an assistant sheriff is called. There's a name for it, I forgot. Look, I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. I'm sorry, I have to do the hand. You know, you gotta do the hand. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Oh my god, do you remember the little teeny tiny frogs? Alright everyone, come here. Oh man, it's the crew. What do you want, boss? Oh, are we gonna begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. We're we gonna have a duel. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. Oh my god, that's adorable. What? I don't do that. He's blushing. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. You know who does that? Me. I like to take walks late at night around my neighborhood and if something's on my mind and it's bothering me, I will literally talk out loud to myself about it. Um, it's a really good way of processing stuff. Like there was a point in my life that I was working through some trauma and some really challenging issues. And I think the thing that got me, like that I survived that whole period of my life was because every night I'd go out and I'd walk between 20 minutes and an hour. And. The nice thing about going out when it's late like that is there's not other folks on the street. Although these days people might think you're like talking to someone like on the phone, like in your ear. Um, but you can like talk through and be like, so what's on my mind? I don't know. I'm, I'm really stuck on this thing. Like, why did they, why did that person do that? Why did this happen? And it's it really, it really helps. Like walk and talk therapy is actually a type of therapy. Um, and you can kind of do that yourself. And so... I will take walks if something's stressing me out now, or if I'm trying to figure out, like, why am I upset? And eventually it'll come out and I'm like, oh, that's why I'm upset, I see. Um, this is actually super useful. It is a good way to get your thoughts out of your head. At the very least, walking will help you, like, it's good for your heart and it's good for your brain. But the walk talk thing, that's my secret. It's really useful. It helps me tremendously. I cannot recommend it enough. Talking in the shower can be good too, but I have I have a roommate. I don't want to weird her out. Um, and I just I find the movement helps me feel like I'm a uh, chewing through it. For some reason, talking out loud helps me process it more. It's it it, it external. I mean, I like to talk, and I do process my thoughts by speaking them or typing them. Like. My thoughts don't process pro fully in my head. They kind of have to come out to be processed. But also there's there's something about expelling the thought that if you're hung up on something or struggling with something, it kind of puts some distance between you and it and kind of gets it out of you. 
if you are looking for things that are like if you're if you're like man i i need to i need to work on some stuff try this seriously i recommend it um it's super super helpful i don't know it has helped me so much through some of the hardest stuff in my life um would recommend also again it's good for your heart to be walking so you might as well anyway all that to say man north star but i feel you i feel you pal <laughs> other monsters oh he's really adorable i'm trying to figure out what his design is like what are these things coming out of his head he's not secretly a whooper <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hint hinting at? Oh, oh, I know! Yeah, smooch. A duel! Bingo. Yeah. Mission one, dangerous duel. We got the screaming eagle, which is not actually an eagle. I don't remember what that is, but there's some particular bird that they, they, they dub into things. Red tail hawk, thank you, Chrono. And yeah, the, the love with, of the animation that they did with that, it's great. Just unnecessarily good, because they can. No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it, Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store, oh boy. Oh my god. Now that I'm... <laughs> Just to impress, question mark. Amazing. Incredible. We're going shopping. And I, I know how much the, the, the merchant loves. North Star and his crew. <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and uh, break or lose them. Oh, he's blushing. Oh my god. Is North Star a Tumblr sexy man? Like, does Tumblr have the hots for this weirdo? Okay. I'm glad to know that my sense for these things is not off. <laughs> I'm on Tumblr now these days. I'm actually using it. It's great. Um, but my 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 fan uh, explorations have been solely the locked tomb and done meshy lately. So <laughs> I have avoided this because I don't want spoilers for Undertale Yellow. But I'm really amused. <laughs> yeah, the boops were great. I'm hoping we'll get more of those. That kind of interaction, at least. Yeah, no, I'm not. It's funny, I got on Tumblr back when Undertale was new so that I could engage with Undertale fandom. But everyone has moved on in the ensuing seven years. Like, a lot of those blogs don't exist anymore that I followed then. But it's fine, because I can find this other stuff I like. I mean, folks do like cowboys, but I don't think North Star is the kind of thing that folks like about cowboys. <laughs> He's more Tumblr sexy man material. And usually people like cowboys for reasons that are not the reasons why Tumblr sexy man are sexy Tumblr sexy man. <laughs> Tumblr sexy mans are inherently not sexy by most people's standards. That's that's part of the that's part of the deal. They're little weirdos. <laughs> oh my god! I must check. I'm sorry. We have been on so many ta tangents tonight. I am in rare form. I must. I must confirm. You are all aware. Of Toby Fox's Tumblr Sexy Man fan fiction that he wrote, right? You have read this, right? 
Is there anyone who has not yet? Because if not, it is incredible. Okay. For anyone who doesn't know the uh, TLDR. <laughs> oh god, I get to share this with people. I'm so excited about this. It's like one of the best things on YouTube. Oh my god, okay. Okay. <coughs> so there was a Tumblr Sexy Man tournament. And the final battle... <laughs> The final showdown! It was a bracket that people on Tumblr voted for. And the <laughs> showdown was between Sans Undertale and What's His Butt from Mob Psycho. <laughs> I should know this. I dated a girl who was obsessed with Mob Psycho at the time. Um. <laughs> Sans won by like 10 votes out of like 20,000 or something like that. And like the closest thing that has ever happened in the Tumblr battles. And the internet, like Tumblr was just losing its goddamn mind. I'm sorry, I have to swear that is the only way that phrase can go. And we were all having a great time. And then Toby Fox tweeted fan fiction about this describing it and it was written like it was written like it was badly written fan fiction from like 15 years ago it was incredible <laughs> and the person who was running this this tumblr sexy man tournament was like that's it nothing will ever beat the fact that this dumb little fun thing I put together got Toby Fox to engage with the Phantom directly. It was amazing. It was so good. It's incredible. Okay. Will you indulge me in one for one moment? Well, let's see if I can find this. Come on, Google. Don't let me down. I googled Toby Fox Tumblr Sexy Man Sands. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't remember if this is stream appropriate, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit for the drama. Are we ready? <sighs> Having cheated his way to the... Having cheated his way to the last round of the competition, Reagan finds himself face to face with Sans, who got there by doing literally nothing. Although Reagan has an early lead, he decides if he wants to cinch this, he's going to have to collude with his competition. He's surprised when Sans, who was entered into the contest unwittingly by his brother, he didn't know what the competition was for, is glad to help him win free of charge. They both run a series of debates where Reagan dismantles Sans by proving how utterly unattractive he is. As the debate continues, Reagan puts on boy band style makeup and works out to become extra attractive. However, mysteriously, Sans' vote only seems to be increasing despite this. Sans mentions that Reagan forgot that being unattractive is one of the key tenets of becoming a popular guy on Tumblr. <laughs> This is, I'm sorry, this is a man who knows Tumblr, writing for Tumblr. I mean, we know that he knows Tumblr. So, no, the Toby Fox gets it. <laughs> it's just so amazing. It's like he, he sees you. Okay. Emotionally crushed that he possibly wasn't, he possibly ever wasn't actually attractive at all. Reagan considers falling out of the competition. However, he's cheered up by Mob, who says that Reagan should too remember what he taught him. <laughs> he should have confidence, regardless of what anyone thinks of him. And yes, that too is in the official fanfic. I did not make that up. Should too remember. On the final day of the campaign, Reagan shows up with rings under his eyes, a five, a five o'clock shadow, and a dad bod. Without saying anything, he takes out a sandwich on stage and stuffs it into his mouth. 
he follows up with his special attack, putting his fingers in his mouth like that one picture of Peter from Spider-Verse. The audience cheers, and Reagan's polling makes a massive comeback. In the end, the results are revealed. Sans won by a single vote. Reagan can't believe it. One vote? How could he lose by one vote? Even that stupid skeleton voted for him. Mob shows off and says offhand, Mob, Mob shows up and says offhand that since Tumblr sexy men are unattractive, he wanted Reagan to have self-confidence, not rely on what other people think of him. Therefore, he voted for Sans. Reagan doesn't know how to feel about this. Written by one Mr. Toby Fox himself. <laughs> so amazing! The existence of this just... I like had to run in and scream at my roommate and be like, this is amazing. And she was just like, how many degrees of terminally online are you learning? <laughs> I'm so happy that it exists. Yeah. <laughs> so if you ever wondered, is Toby Fox aware of what we're doing with his characters? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me actually, speaking of ridiculousness on Tumblr, and then I promise we'll get back to this game. Um, I was, I was scrolling through Tumblr because that's the thing I do now. And somebody was talking about um, uh, Naomi Novik, <laughs> who is a fantasy writer who's written some really good novels. I've read some of them. Um, and somebody was talking about like, well, well, I don't know, something about how she how she feels about fan fiction and stuff like that. And well, how would she feel about if somebody had written like, like Mpreg something or other of her fic? And someone was like, Naomi Novik founded AO3. We've read her fan fiction. We've read her Mpreg fan fiction of other people's properties. I think she'd be okay. And then she reblogged it on Tumblr and was like, yes, I'm okay with this. <laughs> and I'm like, you cannot out Tumblr. The old generation, <laughs> the classics. <laughs> Like, I think she might have, I don't know if she linked to one of her fics that were like that, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's delightful and very amusing. Anyway, isn't this a grooving tune? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I be embarrassed? Should I hang my head? <laughs> For knowing all this? I, you know, I know enough to know that I don't want to Google it. I'm pretty sure that's Toby Fox's MPreg fanfiction. <laughs> you know what's fun? I've never read Homestuck, but I am an Undertale fan, so I have some adjacent knowledge. And now I've read The Locked Tomb, Gideon the Ninth, etc., which is <laughs> almost Homestuck fanfic. So that's been really entertaining. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I have a pretty solid idea of some things in Homestuck now that I have these two things that are very Homestuck adjacent. Anyway. I'm allowed to talk about this stuff during the Undertale fan game, right? This is on topic. This is appropriate, right? Oh, man. Anyway. I'm so delighted that I got to do a traumatic reading of <laughs> Toby Fox's Tumblr Sexy Man fanfiction. It's good stuff though, isn't it? Wasn't that fun? Don't you feel enriched? I gotta say, like, I remember when I was much younger, like, MPEG as a topic was like, and now I'm like, you know trans men can get pregnant, right? <laughs> Shocker! 
it's amazing how like your worldview can change and evolve. So there. Anyway, video games. <laughs> I'm pranked. Is that open in my video editor? <laughs> I see like MPEG. See, it's funny. <clears throat> oh no, these are terrible jokes. These are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I write very serious fan fiction most of the time, although <laughs> occasionally I write really stupid things, but most of them never get finished, so. Oh my god. Oh, they're Do you see? Do you see what's happening? You're all sinning. <laughs> To be fair, I did introduce this. <coughs> anyway. These are like almost dirty jokes, but not quite dirty jokes. This is about as much of a dirty joke as you can get away with on a Lore in the Flute stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really having fun tonight. <sighs> okay. Anyway, back to North Star. See, look at that. I remembered his name. Aren't you proud of me? I'm sorry, the music. <clears throat> video game, video game. Be serious, Lauren, serious, Lauren. Serious, Lauren. <laughs> Open up, Blackjack. You know what Blackjack is? It's the name of one of the airships in Final Fantasy VI, which just turned 30 this week. If I can stop being depressed enough to actually manage to get stuff done, I want to do a really big group project for Final Fantasy VI that will come out on the 30th anniversary of Final Fantasy VI coming out in the US. But we'll see if that can happen. I, I need to play Final Fantasy XIV. It's been over a year. <laughs> anyway, don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Do we know what the appropriate response to this is, folks? We do. There we go, Kronos got it. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. Oh, he's blushing, he's, he's embarrassed. I'm a changed monster. You just threatened to shoot his star down. I'm not, I'm not sure I believe you there, buddy. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week. Frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot? Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Dot, dot, dot. He's got such a smirk. Don't worry, Clover, he's coming. He's so adorable! Make it speedy. Of course, sir! I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. <laughs> ah. amazing. I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see. I was just joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. I'll give you 400G. Well, why didn't you open with that kind, patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. What? What are you doing in there? 
Done and done. Can I get a yeehaw? Chat. Oh my god, he posed. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> chat <laughs> I've seen people talk about that but I don't actually I usually say folks I usually talk to you but I also have a smaller and more personal audience than the big streamers <sighs> all right hey dot dot dots because Clover did not give him a yeehaw all right moving along I get to shoot the dummies. I don't want to shoot the dummies. Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift for me. You got a wild revolver. Oh god. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. It has a hat. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna shoot this dummy. Sorry, the music was too good. I had to turn it up. Check, dummy, attack, question mark, defense, question mark. Just a dummy. Let's practice your shooting now. Smells like lead and burlap. You wanna talk to the dummy? You attempt to speak to the dummy. North Star is confused. <laughs> Uh, actually that's good! Intimidation of your opponent can decrease their focus! Good thinking, Clover. Sand covers the dummy. You intimidate the dummy more. It does nothing. Let's practice your shooting now. Sand covers the dummy. I don't wanna shoot the dummy! I don't want to shoot the dummy! The game is like Lauren! <sighs> Lots of have to say that. I don't want to have to do this. Alright, well, let's see if the fighting in this game works like fighting in the other game. Oh! It does not. <laughs> it does not. It's alright, partner. Try again. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Is it a timing thing? Let's see if it's a timing thing. All right. I don't know what I did, but I hit the button. I did hit a button. <clears throat> Mighty fine job. Give it another go. Uh. There you go. I think you want us to be in the red. Oops. Nice shooting. I'd say you're a natural. Is that what you got out of that? I'm really good at shooting in this game. No, I'm impressed, kid. You definitely passed this part of training. 
I'm pretty sure you let me. <laughs> I gotta go tell Sorova about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Ride on. <laughs> like in, <clears throat> in Monty Python, Quest for the Holy Grail. And coconuts riding our horses. Saroba. Is that how I say that name, by the way? I want to say Saroba, but I, I, I don't know, actually, if that's the correct pronunciation. All right. You folks will forgive me for that pronunciation. Excellent. <laughs> Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey. Feathers was a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really, a child. <laughs> Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just very impressed. Did you see her face? <laughs> She's not happy. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Shroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Really needs to be partner, not partner. That's a different word. Uh, uh, Tell me truly, uh, are you into all of this? I don't know what your answer is, Clover. No, I don't think that Clover is okay. <clears throat> my read. Clover is too earnest and focused. All of this shenanigans? No, this is performative. Clover is interested in true justice. This is not justice. This is playing pretend. This is playing dress up. So, no. Sorry that Star is dragging you around so much, then. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can go too far. He wouldn't believe how much his parents talked to me about it. Really kind folks own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. They used to give my husband Chujin baskets full every wo other week. Chujin. Anyway, I trailed off. Yes, you did. I'm trying to remember if I've heard that name before. <clears throat> Where was I? I'm back! Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here. Is my sprite gonna change? You got a nice hat. I don't think my sprite changed. Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I were standing from afar. Okay. Har har. Looks great. What do you think, Saroba? It's nice. Isn't it? He grins. He's so pleased with himself. Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so the nice hat. I'm not actually holding a nice hat. I'm not equipping a nice hat. Good night, Drew! healing items. Don't be ridiculous. Bam! What's up? 
You're probably wondering why I'm here, right? Surely a monster my status should always be out there hustling. Well, here's a tip from a pro. Always be your own boss. If you ever feel like you need a break, take the opportunity. Wait a minute. Hold up, is this Mo? I'm always traveling back and forth, making dough, being cool, etc. It's an exhausting life, am I wrong? It's easy, or you're right. Being cool is exhausting. Oh my god, I think this is Mo. He's giving me life advice. Be your own boss. Yeah. There's something to be said for that. Alright. I'll say you're right. Who am I to tell him how he should feel about his life? And I always... That's rhetorical. Look, moral of the story is don't overwork yourself, eh? That's about as wise as I get. Don't get used to it. The products here are decent. Come on, mine are so much better. Never settle for the mass-produced stuff. Can't say that too loudly or the bartender will hit me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love the bartender. Okay, I need to know. Is the bartender popular? Is there a lot of fan art of her? Have I talked to her about everything? She's not as popular as you might think. Okay, well, that's too bad. Certain audiences. Ah, okay. She just seems super cool. <laughs> Uh, Saroba and Martlet are the big hits among certain audiences. Well, I mean, obviously, furries, but... Yes, as a freelancer or a contract worker, yes, taking downtime when you can is important. But even if you are working for a boss, it is important that you take care of yourself. Alright. Big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play it. And then again, maybe he's just clumsy. The whole posse is a hoot. They freak okay, right, we did talk about this. I, just, I love the amount of care that they put into adult soda. I love it. Just, no way. Yeah, I guess, okay. <clears throat> Undertale has characters that could appeal to furries. Undertale Yellow, my guess is, has characters designed by and for furries. Slight difference. Let me feel sorry for myself, please. I will not let it go. Alright. Everyone is wrapped up in conversation. Quite the popular spot. There's a difference between a furry-esque design and a character designed by a furry. Like, they're, 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 it feels different a lot of the time, anyway. Like, I would say Toriel doesn't, doesn't feel like she was drawn by a furry in her original design. She gets drawn by furries, but her design was not. Whereas I do feel like the characters in this game have more of an authentic furry vibe. <laughs> Alright. I think a thank you is in order. You just received some high tier gifts for free, no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. Don't get the impression that I'm opening up or anything. It takes a long time for me to become buddy buddy with someone. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. I gotta go talk to everybody. You know how it is. Oh, you're watching over Martlet. What's up? Oh, hey. I'm in here to give Martlet some food, that's all. Okay, so you're making friends. It isn't mealtime, but I thought she would enjoy something. So, you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be. This is for the best. Look on the bright side. Things are about to ramp up. Soon you'll be one of us. How exciting! The 
it's so boring in here. Could they at least give me something to do? All I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun. Okay, it isn't fun. What is interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from a nap. Sorry, I had to say nap like snap, because... Before I realized what had happened, the other prisoner was gone. I tried to talk to them when I first arrived, but got no answers. So now not only am I in jail, I have no cellmate to talk to. All in all, this day is going fantastic for me. By the way, I'm aware of this Moray character. So far they seem nice, so I'm gonna roll with it. <clears throat> no thanks, Clover. I have food. Wink. I don't know what the age difference is between these two, but I'm wondering if they get shipped. <laughs> All right, hello. Oh, you broke out. Are you looking for a train? Hey, go away before I'm caught. I mean, I was released by Star. Yeah, no problems here. No problem here. I too played Earthbound. Shh, I'm not here. You never saw me. Hello, horse. Nay. Nay. It's kind of irritating. The last mission was postponed. It ain't like Star to overlook the dress conditions. Dress conditions? I guess we can chalk it up to him having his plate full. I am surprised he got you such fancy upgrades. We didn't get that kind of stuff when we first joined. No more shopping sprees, Clover. Next mission is sure to put you to the test. You gonna have something else to say to me? No. Wait. History. I heard about- okay. Right, this is where we got off on that tangent about- about smithing and stuff. You know. You know how it goes. Man. They gave me the bag and my inventory is never- I'm never- I'm just- you can't use healing items. That's not what they're for. All right, Flouty. Sorry, you will never not make me laugh. Stick him up, partner. This is a robbery. Darn, I always get that part wrong. Let me try again. Stick him up, partner. This is another robbery. You got a 5G? At least it's less than before. I can't risk another robbery. My wallet is hurting. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right, the squirrel person is so adorable. Missions here can be real tiring. That's why we have a designated nap time. It's a good way to recharge for future servings of justice. Now that I think about it, nap time should be after this next mission. Hope you join us. That's why they've got their house set up for naps. What? I don't search through my friends' belongings while they nap. Why would you suggest such a thing? I have some restraint. Oh, you didn't say anything. I love those facial expressions. Dot, dot, dot. This conversation didn't happen. Got that? Snaps, snaps, snaps! Gotta love them! Oh my god. So adorable. So adorable. Ugh, this place is like no hygiene standards. Yup. I don't think these sheets have ever been washed at all. Yup. Not to mention the food. It's barely passable. Yup. Also wearing a cowboy hat, I think. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the limbs here. I'm confused. You can find stuff more fresh in the dump, yup. Huh? Sick? No, -uh, I'm just here to complain, yup. Not to be rude, but I'd like some privacy, yup. 
Lots of monsters these days. No manners. Yep, yep. Amazing. Your overcharge needs to deplete before I can do another procedure. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Experimental science. The best kind of science. All right, I think I talked to everybody. Yeah, I think I talked to everybody. So who else I didn't talk to? No, I think that's it. All right, Flouty, we're good. I like that Mo, Mo comes here to hang out. The music is super reminiscent of Earthbound, so I wouldn't be surprised. Like, this makes me think of Buy Something Will Ya, you know? There's been a few tracks in this game that have kind of had that sort of vibe. If you take too many multivitamins, you will probably give yourself a really bad stomach ache. Also, taking vitamins on an empty stomach in general, unless it's specifically a vitamin like iron, if you want to absorb it best, it's best to take it on an empty stomach, but it will most likely mess with your tummy. So you kind of have to weigh absorption, tummy issues. What is my priority here? I know all about iron supplements. <sighs> anyway, let's further this game, shall we? Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Yes. Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. I like the wipe thing they've got going on. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover's looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. I was real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. You could have sent me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. Uh-huh. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. This time. Mm-hmm, totally. <laughs> She's the little thief, isn't she? She's really, really adorable. Let's get to the mission already. Rate you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. All right, mission two, dangerous duel. It's time for us to duel. You mean duel. That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with an ooh-ah sound instead of an ooh sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammars? <laughs> oh, man. Duel and duel. Duel and duel. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That is actually a distinction. Amazing. I, I you know... I will take silly wordplay any day. <laughs> duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Sets my frontier zen. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to d participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. There's also not been as much y'all as there should be. And most importantly, when you're going truly plural, you gotta say all of y'all. And if they don't say all of y'all, they're not doing it right. Mooch, provide Clover with the designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. All up, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. They don't trust her, she's gonna pocket it. Get off my back, will ya? 
All right, it's finally time to go head to head. Wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? Why is a duel a mission? What? You forgot the safety glasses. <laughs> Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with I want the pair with the blue flames. Amazing. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's actually on their sprites. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see? They're really cute. Oh my god. Adorable. Yeah, like, I can't even figure out what's going on with Clover's face. Now we're in business. Alrighty, Clover. We're gonna take ten paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound... Grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here you, here we go. Music, music. Oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Better be okay. Star, Star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite. No, wait. No, no, wait. No, 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 wait. No, wait. I will totally load my safe. No. I thought we were just playing around. That's why we put on the safety glasses and we're being silly and he shot at me. I thought we were just playing around. Guess I should finish this scene up. Uh. Maybe it's just pretend and he's gonna be fine and we're just playing around? I guess we'll see. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who, who will you give your inheritance to? Not you. Heck, Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. Oh my god! <laughs> That's me smacking my desk. I was like, wait, we're playing around. This is silly. And then he's like, I'm dying. And I'm like, I can't tell. Daddy, you North Star. 
I didn't shoot him in the eyeballs. I don't think. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what Clover's aiming at. Okay. Well, see, because they make you actually shoot at the dummy. I was like, oh, they're making me lower my guard to be willing to shoot. And then they're going to be like, haha, gotcha. But no. Well, Lone St North Star is going to be like, haha, gotcha. But the game itself isn't. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> Something is wrong with this man. He's really into LARPing, Sheriff Time. Man. Alright, I guess I have to finish the scene. <laughs> guess I'm glad I didn't lo load right there. I thought <laughs> I thought I was just hitting the escape button. I'm starting over. <sighs> okay. This job ain't all swelter stones and rainbows, you understand? Sunshine and rainbows. That's funny. Yeah, Violet Square, you know me. You know it's a risk. You saw that look in my eye. Yeah, they're playing cowboys, but at least they're not playing cowboys and racist Indian stereotypes. So, could be worse. Good job, game. Totally fine to play it being silly cowboys and sheriffs and things like that. Wearing hats, having weird little showdowns. You know what he makes me think of? Peter Pan and his Lost Boys. <sighs> North Star. I really like Peter Pan stories, if you didn't know. I will refrain from expounding on comparisons between North Star and Peter Pan, but just want you to know I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it. <laughs> All right. You might end up hurting someone and must carry that weight on your back. Hope I didn't scar ya. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. Oh, I want those glasses! Those glasses. Oh, hello. You're new. What's up? I mean, howdy, human. Don't tell Northstar about this, but I have a secret. When everyone is busy or sleeping, I sneak out. I go down the Cafe Dune to game. The arcade is totally rad, you dig? I'm a gamer at heart, but a cowboy at skin. Is that, is that how that, okay. I even struggle to keep my accents on. <laughs> Yeah, Super Lesbian Animal RPG is on my list, but what I'm currently thinking is Chicory on Tuesdays, I'm about to beat Ghost Trick next tr next week, and so after that we'll be playing Chicory on Tuesdays, and then when I'm done with this game, I'm actually thinking I might go to Outer Wilds on Thursdays. So, let me know if that sounds like fun for you. I'm enjoying, like, smaller games rather than, like, gigantic ones that will take me a year and a half to beat. Because I'm Lauren! I'm slow! Alright. You should try being a gamer, human. Maybe you could top my Mew Mew score. Maybe. I heard one of the arcade machines used to be named Luckman. Like Rockman? Like Mega Man? They changed it because... Well, I'm sure you know why. Monsters kept scribbling the word bad in front of them. That's cute. Do you think 
they'll ever invent another video game? <laughs> oh, kind of a missed opportunity to only make three. Do you think they'll ever invent another video game? Incredible. I'm not up to anything, I swear. Can't a monster appreciate a fence in peace? Leave me be. I'm clearly busy. Mm -hmm. That's right, they did tell me it was nap time. I love that it's the sleep version of the theme. They're all going zzz. He's in a deep slumber. Alright, so he is the- I, I would have figured he was the one in the hole. Okay. They're fast asleep. Alright, I guess it makes sense that they're in the sleeping bag. Ace is in the hammock. He's taking a nap. I assume that the sofa is for me and the bed is for North Star. Oh my god, look at how adorable this squirrel is. She's probably asleep. Probably. <laughs> or she's gonna go through everyone's stuff. If I turn on the TV, will that wake everyone up? You turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel. I love that the snow is my favorite channel. Oh, it's another creature! Oh, it's a bug! Ha ha! Ha! The dog just replaced one of my pinchers. I feel funny. Ha <laughs> I feel hilarious. Wanna hear a joke? Yeah. Of course I do. Prepare yourselves. I am trying to prepare myself. Okay, so there's this stone pillar, right? It ain't your everyday pillar, though. This one has a drawing of a cat on it. So, ha <laughs> ha! Does that make it a caterpillar? <laughs> Man, I'm good. Hold on, I need to think of more material. In fact, I'm getting a little sleepy. You are adorable. I'm not quite sure what you are, but you're adorable. No. Hello. I love this place. It has a great sense of community. There's not much like it anywhere else. There's a new friend to make every time I go outside. Never too many friends for old Cooper. Are you a raccoon? I tried hanging around the mines, but that place confuses me. Everywhere I step is another puzzle blocking my way. I don't get it. What's the point? There aren't many turtle monsters. Oh, turtle, okay. There aren't many turtle monsters like me around here. There's this one in Snowden, but he's way too popular to ever talk to me. Maybe someday we can be friends. Oh, he's an Undertale fan game character as well. Okay, so I guess that green thing must be his shell. He's really adorable. Also, I like that he points out that, like, yes, there's friends. Oh, wait. I haven't looked at this. I have failed in my mission. I didn't look at this. Oh no, my friends, the mug bros. I don't remember what the, wait, 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 no, I got this, I got this, I got this, don't tell me. The shufflers. I don't know if they're actually called the shufflers, but I think they're called the shufflers. Not wanted, no reward. Did I get it right? Whoa, I got it right. Wait, 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 look at the saloon gigs! Look, 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 look who's playing on Monday! Look who's performing on Monday! This is the sound of me repeatedly smacking my laptop screen. Because it's matter time. I know that box! How exciting. Alright, so the wanted 3G reward. That just looks like one of the characters from Paper Mario! Katie Washington has never lost a child, that's true. Oh, there's new folks over here who don't know our Katie Washington lore. Katie Washington has a, a, a an ad like this posted on a billboard in Night in the Woods. 
that says Katie Washington has never lost a child. Clearly, she's a babysitter promoting her, like advertising her babysitting services. Uh, but we have decided we are all Katie Washington's children and we are all never lost. We got to share this with Scott Benson, one of the writers of Night in the Woods. He was amused. I still want to draw a picture of Katie Washington as Our Lady Katie Washington and give it to him. I think he might get a kick out of that. I don't know. Yes, we are all her wayward children who she has never lost. Anyway. <laughs> Great. Good times. Anyway, I don't know if I'm supposed to recognize that shady character in the right-hand side, but I otherwise will assume that that is a character from Paper Mario. So there's Mo up in the upper left with the tail. And this duel picture that's like when you have a duel, you gotta wear your glasses. Oh wait, da 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 da. Hold on. I'm looking at this music. Is what that actually more or less does. They've got one note wrong. No, I was singing along with the music because that's what that says. Yeah, that's that's literally what it says. That's what I figured. That's that's cute. That's very, very cute. That says notice fallen something, do not. And then it's got, if you'll notice, this this one um, underneath the saloon gigs, it has the official Delta rune on it. And it says notice fallen something, and then it says do not something. So it probably means notice fallen human, do not engage, something like that. I don't know what the one underneath the wanted reward is, but anyway, I had fun with this. I'm also happy that I... I'm glad that I could read that sheet music for you. I could, I could sight sing it and be like, oh, it's that. All right, let's go talk to Martlet. I love that the... Hold on. Jail? Has a mat to wipe your shoes on with a heart on it. This place is ridiculous. All right. I've been wondering how this situation will affect my job. Oh, that's right. I still have my handbook. Let's see here. In case of injury, illness, imprisonment, loss of this handbook, or another misfortune rendering you unable to perform your duties, please report to the leader of the Royal Guard immediately. Failure to do so. Oh. Let's just say the book wasn't very helpful. On the bright side, I now have some not so light reading material. Gotta get cracking. Keep at it, Clover, cause I'm not going anywhere. All right, Marlet's very cute. Nay. Oh, hello. I have to say, it's fun watching the Five's missions. Can't say the same for rooming with them. All six of us sleep in one room. Oh, is the bed hers? Because I was going to say, North Star feels like a couch sleeper. Any annoyance you can think of, it happens. Snoring, sleep, talk sleep talking, teeth grinding. It's pretty exhausting. I can't complain much, though. It's a free place to stay. You see, in the past, I haven't lived here. I have... Well, had a place near Oasis Valley. I suppose I outgrew it. Moved here a few weeks back. Star and I have been friends since childhood, so there's no rent. It's nice. What? Mm. You have a husband. Did you get divorced? About leaving. Okay, good. <laughs> Once you pass your training, you'll be free to roam wherever. It'll be tough when I have to tell Star about your departure. He's taken a real liking to you. 
a shame you'll be gone so soon. The sooner you do your missions, the sooner you're on your way. Since it turns out I did not, in fact, murder North Star. I think I talked to everybody. <laughs> oh my god, I love how many. I love how they change who's hanging around here every single time instead of it just being talked to the same people. So you're the new kid, eh? I've heard the townsfolk raving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I could totally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. I know for a fact I could win an arm wrestle with you right now, no to <sighs> It's not just the bar, it's the entire town. It does feel like people just come by here. They just visit. They drop in from all around the area. All around the dunes. If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy position. If that upsets you, I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't cross me if I were me. You see me sitting at the spa? Yeah, it's because I'm a cool adult, unlike you. I can do cool adult things like cry and also weep. Am I being mean? No. It's just the hard truth. If you're only talking to me to hear my silky smooth voice, give it up. I won't let you in on my secrets. Blumbino. Remember the name. Oh my god. Incredible. Oh man! It's, this is Moray's dad. Right? I'm pretty sure that this guy and his wife talked about their kid and that was Moray. Oh, he's drunk. He's got the little cheeks. Hello. Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. Oh my god. I'm in town visiting my little Moray. My lovely wife Angie is running the mines while I'm away. Okay, that's adorable. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there though. Oh, it's a risk worth taking. Angie often frets about Moray living down here. I've heard these Wild East fellas are real serious about everything. Moray originally touted it as being a human-like town. Right? They're whatever the equivalent of weebs is for cowboy stuff. I don't... I don't know a term for that. But if there is one, that's what they are. West of Blue. <laughs> Maybe, Chrono. We'll go with it. Said it was for role play, whatever that is. Yes! No, they're literally LARPers! They're literally LARPers! They're LARPers! They know the LARPers! Oh my god. feels right like they feel like LARPers like that's why they like drop in they come and go nothing here is they're not serious in that way but they are serious in that way oh my god are any of you LARPers you don't have to identify yourself if you don't want to I'm just I'm wondering if we have any LARPers in our presence <laughs> no shame honestly I, I have I have friends who are LARPers I have friends who are Vampire of the Masquerade LARPers in fact um yeah, Star is, is doing his human role play. That is, yeah, amazing. Which is why we got to have our trauma training because you got to be able to have really, you have to have a really dramatic death scene in your Western. Somebody's got to die dramatically. It's got to be tragic. You got to have feelings. You can shed a tear because it's inspired by samurai flicks where you can shed a tear. Amazing. <sighs> amazing. They're just Western purpose. 
I don't know how to handle this, but I love it. All right. That's why... That's why they worry about dropping their accents. Because they're LARPing. Oh my god, they're LARPing. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That's so silly and amazing. I'm sorry for Alfie's that she never got to have her anime LARP. But she did get an anime girlfriend. Like... I'm sorry, Undyne is an anime girlfriend, so. I don't think Alphys has any complaints about how things turned out. Not in Undertale, anyway. Deltarune is much different. It's interesting. Exactly, anime is real because Undyne is anime. Undyne makes anime real by believing in it. Seems like it's shifted into something very different nowadays. I guess if my kiddo's happy, I can't complain too much. The mines are always open to visitors if you call ahead of time. I'd like to see you back there soon. I love how friendly everyone is. I'm just making friends all over the place. But in a different way than Frisk made friends. Like, Frisk befriending people feels more like healing desperate sadness. Whereas folks here seem a little more chill and they're just making friends with a new pal, if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway. Um. We're ready to talk to Lone Star? I mean, North Star? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't put a character like that in front of a Texan and I call him North Star. You can't do it. Do it. It's not fair. All right. Well, you folks can all think of space balls. I will think of Texas. Okay, none of these are new. Sorry, I'm grooving to this music. I can't help it. You ever just get distracted and you just bob around in place listening to music because there's a sweet tune playing? I sure do. All right. Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done with your training. They grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Yes. Follow me. I wonder if the the screen doing that if that's a, is that a is that a technique that's common in westerns when they're switching between scenes because I know that um Star Wars does a number of wipes and various like kinds of transitions like that um and that that is a reference to other things but I'm not sure if that's a reference to samurai movies a reference to westerns or a reference to westerns which are samurai references or the other way around. Like, I'm going to assume that that's what they're doing. That they've watched a spaghetti western and that's what happens. Okay. You know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, did something go horribly wrong? Or are they playing the game? Where is everyone? Bow, bow, bow. Sorry about this, Clover. They should be here any second. Star, what is happening on the west end of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? By George! This must be an attack from Vengeful Virgil! Vengeful Virgil. I got those strumming those really cowboy chords. Vengeful Virgil? 
Who is that? Saroba, come on. We drew his wanted poster last month. It's on the news board. Oh my god. He is a lurker. You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Um. Oh yeah. Well, you better go stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's a spirit. Let's put a stop to this, Clover. Mission three. <laughs> Music speeds up. I want to go talk to that person. That person's new. Huh. You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. Gasp! side and multiple on the other side so we got a trolley problem <sighs> like on one hand it's hilarious because mustache twirling evil villains tying people to railroad tracks is absolutely the western thing to do I hope I don't actually have to do a trolley car problem Hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here. Ed, keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those robes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? It's a scary star. I'm afraid you must choose which track the train travels on. Yeah. Choose Ed! Woot, you are dead to me. Unless Star chooses you instead. That's cold. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Of course! Oh my god. Clover don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as it is? It won't be your fault but many monsters get hit. You choose to change the track. It'll be by your hand, but only Ed gets hit. Not as much of a sacrifice. What did I do to deserve this? We're out of time! If only we could have untied everyone! If only. You gotta choose now, Clover! happening they're larpers I do really like Ed I do really like Ed but Moray's dad's in town They want to be really nasty they will have something happen that's actually not LARPing <sighs> after all of this they'll have gotten me to lower my guard and then they'll be like actually this is consequences <laughs> I'll be so mad I love I don't know who it is <laughs> the trade costume <sighs> wait that's the bandit that was in the jail. They were looking for a train so they could be the train. Maybe that's Virgil. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Ed says, oof. Just 
asshole with the train just fell over. Clover, how could you? Is this about me carrying you earlier? Did I hurt you? Now, now. In defense of Clover, they just saved many lives. I guess that's true. Oh, my God. So is Ed going to have to sit out because his character's dead? Is he going to have to sit out of character? Are they going to have to roll him a new character? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really delighted. Clover proved that they were willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Quite noble, don't you think, Saroba? There's a lot of layers to this scenario. <laughs> Ed returns to his brother, Ned. Amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tired of here. This is really funny. I believe it's more of a gray area. Quite noble indeed. I'm sorry. He didn't have the hand, but he should have had the hand. This was a test of your judgment. I'd say you passed, buddy. Ed's like, mm. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. <sighs> See you around. Hey, is anyone gonna untie us? I wanna untie them. But I guess I don't get to. This is really really silly and I'm enjoying it you are adorable hey it's you again nice to see a face around here that's seen places other than this desert <laughs> I live around these parts but it's not always like this <laughs> the wild east is changing something's in the air North Star and his gang are doing their best I suppose speaking of North Star He's got you roped into his crew, huh? Don't be too intimidated. They're all a bunch of softies at heart, yeah. Maybe not that Ed guy, though. Something tells me not to cross him. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm thinking of taking a trip to Waterfall. You should stop by that place if you get the chance. Prettier than here, for sure. Hi, Snowba. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just looking at Star's videotapes. Mostly human-made westerns that found their way here. Exactly the same as Alfie's. That and the classic Aerobics 4-5. That one gets used often. Man, those really take me back. I remember the day Star ran from Waterfall with these in his arms. He was ecstatic. I recall it being strange to see him act that way. Was he, a, was he a sad kid before he discovered Western role-playing? He must have watched them all forward and backward 50 times over. When Kanako came around, he'd watch them with her just as much. Kanako. Hmm. Uh, yeah. They're good movies. That's what I'm getting at. Getting at. I am. I have a habit of drowning in nostalgia from time to time. I apologize. It's super cheesy, I'm sure. It just helps to remember the good times. It helps. You should get going. You don't want to miss your next mission. I'm fine, trust me. You need to focus on passing your training. Okay, so it seems that some monsters might have fallen down. Mooch is thrown. <laughs> Nothing else new here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's so pretty. I can't not sing along. Okay. Hi, Martlet. I had to play the trolley problem. <laughs> I managed to doze off for a moment earlier. I had a dream I was back at my Snowden post. Dozing off. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm not a lazy bird. Being a royal guard is no easy task. Calibrating puzzles, writing status reports, guarding outposts, getting yelled at by an old lady for ruining the Snowden Bridge. Whoops, I'm trailing off again. I really need to get out soon. At this rate, I'll start talking to myself. More than usual, anyway. You've got to hurry, Clover, please. At this rate, I'm going to have to start eating moss off the walls. Oh, man. All right. Failing at that bridge. Howdy, dot dot dot. Okay, my patience is only so strong, Clover. I hope you're not planning to actually stay here. These bozos are below you. I highly suggest that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself get distracted from the real mission. Oh my gosh! Is this one of the shufflers? Hey, would you look at that? If it ain't a fresh recruit. How's it going, kid? You giving the shufflers a good name out here? I sure am. You know, it's tough being in a world re world renowned words. It's tough being a world renowned gang leader. I gotta run around the underground every now and then, make sure we're being properly represented. You know, you ain't getting respect like us by lazing around, kid. Hey, kid, have you seen a certain associate round? A fancy little fella. Wears a nice suit and a stubby hat. You've got some matters to discuss with him. Are you in trouble, Mo? This town here is pretty nice, though I'm not fond of the local gang. They think they're the hot stuff, but they've got nothing on the shufflers. Amazing. And yeah, I do wonder, I mean, I assume that the eating of moss is, a, is an adulterine reference, so... All right, Blumbino. I guess I've done everything there is to do. Got yelled at by Flowey and everything. What a lonely box. Nothing else going on around here? Dozens of unopened bottles sit within the boxes. You can't take one without making a ruckus. And we wouldn't want to make a ruckus now, would we, Clover? All right. We're gonna progress the plot. Ruckus is a good word. Ruckus belongs right up there with hooligans. Howdy. Man, am I excited for this. Have you done everything you wanted? Caught some bandits? Saved some lives? Yes. Hullabaloo is also a good word. Let's get going then. Final call. Get on, get on over here. It's funny, the little squirrel's tail makes it look like she's got a bag over her shoulder. I don't know if my cam is delayed. It shouldn't be. But I don't know. Are you all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. Oh no, is there going to be a mutiny? Clover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the wild east, bucko. They pass their training like anyone else. 
how it was training. We barely did anything. That last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that it slipped my mind. You five of fun. I'll be right back. This is gonna go well. This is just peachy. You getting this attention and all? How come you waltz in here and star instantly makes you dep deputy? You didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons. Lessons for short. Yes! Yes! That is exactly what I like. That kind of super stupid wordplay just makes my day. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, and he made me pickpocket and he made me pickpocket monsters by the oasis. Star didn't make you do that. <laughs> Amazing. And she just says smiley face. Oh my god. You know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement. Feisty four, here we come. section I will take a synth solo keyboardist because what you should have had is the horns playing solos but the composer is not a horn player and it's like now nah, the keys get the solo <laughs> like no you need to have a horn solo and then a sweet bass solo and then you can have like a drum solo that's fine it's fine I promise you somebody will play this live and they will do that for me and it will be done. This isn't even my genre. I don't even go for solos. That's more of like a jazz type thing. But this needs... Like it needs one of those, you know? Like this is a keyboard solo. Yeah. Now we need a Splatty, splatty. 
muted trumpet solo, and then we need a sexy saxophone solo. And then we got a trombone. Like, all of them have got, like, that's what the horn section is, and they gotta play solos. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if the Limit Breakers are gonna play this. They don't have a keys player, do they? Do they have a keys player? Shoot. They might. I'm not even a horns person. Anyway. And the bass, the bass needs to have a totally sweet bass solo. And everyone, and it needs to like be like better than literally everyone else. And you're like, oh, wow, your bassist can play. That's really fun. Well, I will ask around and see. VGM Con is in a few weeks. If I do wind up going, somebody might do it there. Otherwise, I will introduce them to the song and be like, hey, let this become what it needs to be. I'm not even calling for an electric guitar solo. This is not the song for the electric guitar solo. This is the soul, the song for the horns, man. All right, act. Ed, I'm gonna have to, is this gonna, this gonna be like a, I'm gonna fight all of them. All right, act. Check. Ed, attack 10, defense 10. The dream team. So you're the new deputy, eh? Then you shouldn't have a problem dodging this. Hoi! Oops. More sharpens their blade. Okay, so they're all here. I'm gonna try to distract him. You point at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. <gasps> Holy crap! Well, I have a favorite member of this team and it's not the squirrel. I didn't realize Moray was gonna be that cool. Holy crap! Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? What are you? What are you? What even? What even are those? I don't know. Smells like teamwork. More. Eh? Smirk. You smirk at the four's antics. They're trying. Oh, hey, Ace. Oh, good luck. Oh, shoot! Ace is practicing sleight of hand. Steady. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. Quit hogging Clover! Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, she's really cute though. Toby Fox would never animate that much. But that was very lovingly animated and so adorable. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Before deciding who attacks next. You down the root beer, the carbonation tingles. Your HP was maxed out. Animation is so good. So good. That's for the train insult, Mooch. Let's see if you can pass round two, kid. <gasps> oh no! Ace is practicing sleight of hand. Okay. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. I think this is a survival one. God, you're so Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as well, Clover. I do really like the gang. I'm sorry, I really like them. Ready for this? No. Oh my god! You're so cool! I died. That was gonna happen. I'm gonna have to do the whole cutscene over again. Oh. <laughs> How are they gonna explain this to the sheriff? I'd love to stick around for that mess, but oh well. 
Oh good, I can just retry, that's good. It's so good. Sorry, the music is so good. dodge any of this and pounce his fists together triumphantly. team card pickup. Okay. Who? Who is 52 card pickup and who else? I learned 52 card pickup when my sister, my older sister asked, do you want to play 52 card pickup, Lauren? And I was like, okay. Which is how that game goes. <laughs> Man. I guess Mooch is like, I'm just gonna steal all these cars, and Ace is like, you can't do that, buddy. <laughs> smells like teamwork, make me so happy. Oh my god, so adorable. Oh jeez, no, I'm, I'm gonna die this. No, I can't. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm really not sure what to do about that, but I will down some root beer. That was just the description that I was gonna say, but apparently that's how the game writes it too, so. They play tested this game very well, no? I'm perfectly willing to say that some of this is me not being the best bullet hole player, but some of this I'm like, I literally don't know how this is dodgeable, if this is dodgeable. There may be a thing that if you know exactly what to do, you're fine, but. This one's new. Now, now. Quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. Shoot. De the ice water definitely has a taste, but you couldn't describe it. My turn, my turn! Oh my god, she's so cute. I I'm like getting distracted by how cute she is. Okay. Mori, let's team up for an attack. 
I love this. Look, I mean, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. But it's cool they each have their suit that they are. And so then we get a team up attack, so it's both suits and both colors. Oh, I would be honored. God, they're so cool. Shoot! Mori sharpens their blade. Ace. <sighs> Mooch. Of course I'll help you, Ace. Ace. Don't be so kind next time. The four are deciding who attacks next. I think I can survive one more attack. We ain't done yet. Get ready for my strongest attack. Hey! Oh man. Okay. What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? Tarnation. Very good. I survived! Second time! Could have gotten worse. Oh. We got some drama. Listen to this music. We felt your training was lackluster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of lessons for this? to lock you away with feathers star what's going on you've been different a real meanie it's true this hasn't been any fun and larping is supposed to be fun man what are y'all blabbering about this is the most alive this town has ever been why does everything have to be a spectacle huh i miss the old north star the fearless leader the monster who could make their own fun in the little things. Yeah. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Oh no. Should I? Starlo? Why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? It seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what all this is about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover's shot circles around you and you just can't escape it. You just can't accept it. Sorry, Miss Red. Man, what is your problem, man? Your friends are asking you nicely to stop. I mean, they probably shouldn't have picked on me. It's not my fault this is going on, but... I get it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. No, Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when they when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? Typo. There should be another E there. That's fine. I'm saying that I'm done. I resign from the feisty five, okay? I feel like when you put this in the context of a bunch of kids playing together, it makes sense. Like, if this were like, we are actual ride or die loyal soldiers, people who are working together and like this is like our true calling and stuff this kind of I quit might feel out of place but for a bunch of kids functionally speaking a bunch of kids playing pretend when the guy in charge of playing pretend stops considering them and is only thinking about what the new kid is doing that sucks you're not acting like a friend, and we've asked you to stop doing that and start acting like a friend again, and you won't listen to us. Yeah. This isn't like, I quit. This is not like, I quit the team. This is, I'm not having fun anymore, so I'm going to go home. Which I think feels very fitting, because Northstar is 
acting inconsiderate. He's he's acting like a like a bratty kid who's not considering his friends, and he's so wrapped up. Because like when you're playing pretend, or when you're when you're LARPing, when you're role playing together in any capacity, it is a collaborative group effort. It is a it is an act of teamwork through and through, and it should never prioritize one player or one participant over all the others. It's one thing if you take turns where it's like. This is this character, like this is this player and this character's time to shine. But everybody else knows that their time to shine is going to come. But we've all played in that game where the DM was attached to one particular person and that person got too much spotlight and you kind of, or, or, or even worse, the, that DM had their DM NPC, the DM PC. Um, and, and you're kind of like, why am I even here? The, the story is all about these other characters and I'm just in the background. I'm not having fun. Why am I here? That, to me, that feels like the vibe that's happening here. And it, it seems like it's not specifically this encounter with Clover. It seems like this has been building. Like, there have been some issues in the past prior to Clover arriving. And Clover arriving is kind of like the last straw. But to me, that's what this feels like. I don't know. North Star's being a bad DM. Or whatever the equivalent is for... I mean, like, I know this is LARPing, but it feels like playing pretend. So that's, like, the language that I'm using. Um, But, like, that's one of the things if you sign up for a LARP, the people who run the LARP should be making sure that everybody gets equal participation. And sometimes you have to put a little extra care into bringing the new person into the thing because everybody else has something pre-existing. But not like this. This is, I got so excited about the new kid that I'm neglecting everyone else. And that's not cool. So don't be that DM. Alright. I resigned from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now? It'll still be the Feisty Five without you, so go ahead. They are totally acting like children. Which is, which is fine, like, it fits. It feels right. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. She doesn't even leave Rupert to argue it. To argue. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. I'm sorry. Moray is so cool. Like, so cool. Like, and I'm not just saying that because they sword fight like a super cool red mage type, which is absolutely my favorite. But they're also like, they have a certain degree of maturity, even though like we see their parents. So they're the one that like registers in my brain as a kid. But they're like, if you apologize, it'll be fine. Like you have not burned your friendships forever. Just tell us your story and mean it. And it's fine. We don't hate you forever. We just want you to do better. And then they leave. You messed up when Moray leaves you. Fine. I was considering firing y'all. Firing y'all anyway. I think this should have been an all y'all. Saroba, you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Starlo. They're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. Yeah, no, it's... It makes perfect sense. Like, it fits. It feels very in character for him to be like this. Like, suddenly, like, why would he need to have fake cowboys? He's got a real cowboy. Um... But that's still, he's still pretty, he's, he's, he, this is pretty crummy behavior, but it is very in character and believable. Uh, I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but yeah, cause Clover's not having fun. The rest of them aren't having fun. Nobody's having fun with this except North Star. I don't even know if he's having fun. I think he's just, he's trying to, he's trying to live out. Oh, hello. Look who came to join us. <gasps> oh, sorry, baby. All right, 
great kitty cat. All right, if anything weird happens, blame the fact that my cat is here. It's Sophie. Hi, Sophie. You're such a good baby. Sorry, hold on. I know we're having serious character moment, but I have to pet the cat also to make sure she doesn't sit on my laptop. She's right next to it. She's watching the screen, hoping something good will happen. Okay. I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but this wild east thing has damaged your personality. Oh, snap. That's actually a problem with, like closed nerdy communities where people get a lot of power it can change and kind of corrupt them they start thinking of themselves as being this like really important and powerful person who can't make mistakes and you're like that's the character you play i want to see the real starlo oh wound he's wounded that's north star to you Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I I need to think now. He's Lone Star. North Star, now that you're Lone Star, you're going to rethink. You're going to sit here and think, and think hard about what you've done. Yeah. I can fix this. Yeah, you can by apologizing to your friends, buddy. listening to the guitar and I'm keeping Sophie entertained. She likes to watch movement on the screen, so Clover is pacing for Sophie's entertainment. I do need to set up my cat cam so you can see the cuteness of the cat. I love guitars. This is super pretty. And yeah, him digging his heels in further and being like, no, 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 I'm not wrong. They're wrong. I can make this okay. It'll be fine without me having to admit that I'm wrong. Like, it's super human. It's super relatable. We have all been there. We have all done that. This is what makes a thing like this, like, that's what makes a thing like this super effective. Like, I don't think a single person alive can say they haven't been in some version of North Star's shoes there, you know? Especially when you're young and trying to figure things out, but not exclusively then. It is so hard to admit that you messed up. All right. Howdy. I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. I'm gonna have to go check on what he's up to. Oh, you, you're in rough shape, buddy. Leave me alone. I've had enough of this town. I swear, no one here really gets me. No, they don't understand the level I'm at. I can stare at someone and they'll feel true fear. Well, not everyone. If you think you're so tough, why don't you prove it, he said. All right, yeah, maybe I misjudged how strong a left hook to the cheek could be. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have taken on someone smaller, but it's all part of my plan. I wasn't even using all my power. Amazing. Hi, a really creative ma'am. Welcome. Big red guy in his dumb, stupid little hat. Trust me, if I had landed the first hit, things would have ended much differently. He got lucky. Go away. Hello again. Need a boost? Yes. Let's begin. A little bit of this, and done. Extra HP is good. Yeah, yeah. 
Lone Star just got ditched by his friends for being, excuse me, North Star. <laughs> North Star just got ditched by his friends for being a bad DM. Leading a bad, D a bad LARPing experience. So, we're gonna go help him with his sadness in a minute. Maybe we'll go yell at him. Flowey wants us to ditch the town, but I don't think that's the right thing to do. Hello. Let's see if I can talk to her about anything new. Talk. It's probably not the best time to chat. Real worried about everything going on right now. Ugh. I should probably buy some more drinks. Oh, I am low on money, man. His crew is jerks? Man, we have very different reads on what's happening in this game. North Star has been a really inconsiderate friend whose friends have been trying to ask him to please change what he's doing. And once he refused to take other people's feelings into consideration, they did the right thing and uh, enforced their boundaries and walked out. All he has to do is stop being a jerk to them and they'll be friends again, but he's first got to get over himself a little. Oh, jeez, everyone's turning on him, huh? That's interesting. North Star is the worst. Hate that guy. Right? <laughs> I don't actually think North Star sucks. I just say whatever's popular and hopes to rise in the wildest ranks. <laughs> Amazing. I, uh, I kind of need North Star to return ASAP. Who else am I supposed to blindly follow in life? My dad? Sure, if I want to grill meat and browse sketchy internet pages all day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, well, that's great. Alright. See if this has changed. No, it has not. Feisty Zero? What happened? Oh, man. There's news. There, there's news about the drama. Alright, Martlet. Hi, Martlet. I kind of overheard what happened outside. Ugh. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but... Yeah, because she was befriending Moray, who is the coolest. <laughs> Maybe you should go after the Sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone now. You've gained his trust, so maybe you could sort out the situation. And, uh, we still need him to let me out of here, of course. You can do this, Clover. If you could convince this bird brain, you can get through to him. Oh, Martlet! Martlet! You better not be insulting yourself by calling yourself a bird brain. I mean, you're a bird who has a brain, so technically you are a bird brain, but... Don't be like calling yourself a bird brain like calling yourself dense. I think you're great. I love Martlet. I really do. You can do this, Clover. Yeah, she's just, she's just so adorable. I'm sorry. She's really cute. Let's put this place behind us, pal. No. She is the great. No, she absolutely is the great. You were right the first time. Nay. I'm sorry. I gotta do the nay. Uh, maybe you weren't the one in the train costume. I think you were, though. That was That's the only thing that would make sense. Hey, kids. Sorry about the whole train thing earlier. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was right. I love playing the villain, but I never considered how the others felt. Amazing! Oh, man! Yes! You gotta make sure that you don't have character bleed. You gotta make sure that it's very clear that whatever your villain does is not meant or targeting the players and that all the players at your table or in your LARPing group are comfortable with what's happening. This is super, super important advice for a uh, Sophie girl. Sorry, there's a cat. Just if you're like, why am I distracted? Observe that there is a cat. Her head is behind the laptop. 
but she's here. Look at that baby. Do you see this cat? How am I expected to get anything done in these conditions? Sophie, I am gonna... Oh, she's really cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna move my other... Okay, I got the controller in my hands now because I'm gonna need that. Anyway, yeah. I don't know if there's any of you who have wanted to try role-playing and have not had the chance to do so. Or if you thought about running a game and you've never tried it, or maybe you've tried it and it didn't go so great. I have both run and played in quite a number of games. And it is as, as much fun as the story is and as important as the story and story consistency is, the most important thing in any game is the people around the table. If they are not having a good time, and especially if they are not comfortable or feeling safe, something's wrong. So, it's very important if you're playing a villain to make sure that you're not pushing past somebody's comfort zone. This is why, especially in like circumstances like LARPs, I don't have a lot of LARP experience, but I've read about, I've read about them, that counts for something. Um, but it's super important to have conversations about consent and limits and understanding and boundaries in, in any game. <coughs> and make sure that your villains don't cross them. Your villains can be evil, but your players should never be hurt. Player characters, yes. Players, no. Maybe in the end, that's what makes me the real villain. I want to move on once this all blows over. You know, get an honest job and move to a more conventional place. Vengeful Virgil Redemption Arc. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I like that. I like the Vengeful Virgil Redemption Arc idea. I support you in that, Vengeful Virgil. But right now we're going to have to do a Redemption Arc. Oh my god, he busted down the gate, didn't he? Buddy. Buddy. What? We're gonna chase after this fella. What? You got nothing to say about it? That's fine. Let's go talk to the shopkeep here. What occurred in the square? North Star just walked by my shop while staring at the ground. It isn't a trouble of mine, but maybe you should check in on him. If you think it's important, that is. <coughs> Two sliders also. Yeah. Ah! I'm failing it. Nope. No, bag. There we go. I'm really, I'm not good at directions, as you can maybe see here. I'm not sure which of these... are things that are replaceable or safe. But I'm gonna run after this guy. Oh! Well, this sounds ominous. And there's a save point. Howdy! I was hoping Starlo ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. I will totally take the blame for the UI here. I have problems with UI. I just, I, I don't do well with directions. D-pads and I. We're almost out of here. Let's knock this Starlo drama out. Ah, okay. Rootin' tootin' sparin' instead of shootin'. That's frightening, old girl. Ominous. We're gonna have a show down here, buddy. Oh my god, he's got cape wind. He's got cape wind! Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Ugh. 
There's the noble goal. At every turn, I tried to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kanako off her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Aren't distractions what's best for all of that? Huh? You. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you- North Star. Starlo, buddy! You introduced LARPing to try to make the monsters less depressed. Being sheriff got to your head. And you made some poor decisions and you're still blaming other people. Come on, man. Grow up a little bit. This all happened after you showed up. Ed specifically mentioned you as the problem. That's right. I was just being a good friend. I made you who you are, yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gotten out that Feathers hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure... I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but the entire underground. I'd... Clover, you've been an excellent deputy, but as a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul. My true duty. Don't... Don't make this difficult for me. Oh, he's like, I'm gonna pretend I'm a royal guard and take out the human. <sighs> North Star, this is not a good way of running. Like, running away from your problems does not make them better. Just hold still. Oh, good! I guess I can't move. Oh. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Okay, I'm going to turn my volume up because this is going to... I don't know I don't know what they're about to play, but it's going to be what we might call a banging tune. <laughs> You ready? Showdown. They're still working in the Ennio Morricone references. Very cool. All right, showdown. Starlo. Check. Starlo, attack 12, defense 9, the almighty sheriff. Huh, even tied up your skills. I sure have an eye for talent. Oops. A tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Thanks, tumbleweed. Struggle. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Still, 
Part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. Tell me we little five. It says hello. Let's glare at him. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes a letter box. <laughs> Why'd you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. Oh, jeez. Starlo's fingers itch for his six-shooter. I'm gonna bite. You chomp and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Charlotte's fingers itch for his six shooter. Quit squirming so much. Oh, right. Smells like leather boots. Your HP was maxed out. Clover, you gotta understand. Ready. That's interesting. Smells like leather boots and dashing looks. Oh, look at his little hand go. Fine, I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. What you made me do? That lasso is made from premium materials. I do like that there are things that you can do to win boss fights in the original Undertale, which is largely not how boss fights work. They want their boss fights to be dialogue options, so it's just a matter of like just basically you're just surviving while they monologue at you and then the boss fight's over like i don't remember undertale's fights being like that like there were some No way! Okay, he, sh he shot my... He shot my tether. Okay. No, no way! Outsmarted by a deputy? At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel! Duel! Spin. Focus. Spin. You spin your six-shooter several times to intimidate Starlo. Oh my god. I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Oh shoot. Starlo tries to tape his lasso back but can't find the end of the tape on his roll. Relatable. Focus. You take a deep breath to prepare for the next attack. At first I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. You're looking for there's no way this fraud bested you come on show him who the real gunslinger is all right well that's fine i don't i won't read his dialogue we'll just skip through it fast yes yes okay. <laughs> 
All right. Numbered my extra HPs. Oops. All right, I'm getting better at remembering that. better. Oh my god, Sophie is showing her belly. She really wants my attention. She's so cute. It's a good thing the music is good. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. That's them giving you the hint that he can break the lasso. Yeah, okay, they do tell you that. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. There's a way to do this. I'm not, oh, I think it has to be around the, okay, I think, I think, I, I think I want the, the center of it to cross the lasso. Okay, okay, yeah, so that did some damage to the lasso, got it, okay. There we go. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. Okay. I... I saw, I saw someone talking about being overly critical of a fan game. I think it is very important to say this has strengths and weaknesses, and the weaknesses are really frustrating. And they did a tremendous job. This is an absolutely, like this is, it's an absolutely tremendous accomplishment. Um, but sometimes you're like, oh, this is a fan game. Like the, the level of like the art, artistic and musical skills and the writing skills are fantastic. The game design skills are not the strength of this team. They can come up with some really interesting bullet patterns, um, but there's something beyond that that seems to be their weakness consistently. All right, so we're gonna duel. my sacrifices, all the naysayers, those didn't matter anymore because what I had was special. Oops. Why am I slowing down? So 
Oh, that keeps two steady eyes on you. I don't know what just happened there, but... Bullet time? Oh my god. Hot pop, sure. You eat the hot chocolate pop. It has the distinct flavor of something that was once hot. Red Dead didn't introduce bullet time. Max Payne did. Which I've played. By the way, I've played all the way through Max Payne 1 and 2, although I did not fight the final boss in Max Payne 1. I think I had to get somebody else to beat that for me. I love Max Payne. Melodrama and tragedy. Flawed storytelling and some design issues because it was an older game. At the time, it wasn't an older game, but a very solid game. No, that's fair. I can completely understand. Um, and I'm sure Red Dead contributed a lot. It's just that I played the original Max Payne back in the day and loved it. So, and I remember how revolutionary it was. Now I've realized the truth. The sheriff stuff is worthless. What are you even doing, buddy? Blair. You shoot a nasty look at Starlo. We all tout justice, but true underground status is only secured through pain. Monster Kind's hero is a title soaked in blood. Whoa, buddy! Buddy, this is not what you're supposed to walk away from this with. I don't think Fear released before Max Payne, because it was a when Max Payne came out, bullet time was what people talked about in the context of Max Payne. So I assume that there wasn't a game that came before it. I'm trying to remember how long ago Max Payne came out, but it's been a while. Yeah, okay, Max Payne was 2001. Yeah, I knew it had been a while. I just, I, I don't think, I... I just, I feel like... Starlo is still refusing to take responsibility for his own actions and his own... Like, the reason why things got bad here was because he made some poor choices. And he's just digging in and now telling himself that he had no choice. This is the way it works. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Yeah. This human wannabe is a total pushover. Then he'll crack if you survive long enough. <laughs> Welcome back. Where are my settings? Can I access settings from here? Well, I was going to change it to easy mode. Why don't we save? And we'll come back and do this from the title screen and we'll switch to easy mode because I have come to the conclusion that I understand what they are doing and why they decided to make battles harder because some of their players will have beaten the No Mercy run and don't want something easy. However, I am not that player, and I don't think that their design work is tight enough for it to be worth me doing it over and over again. The combination of having to do, like, redo cutscenes and things sometimes, and the number of patterns that, again, I might, I might be the problem, um, but... It's not fun. <laughs> I can't appreciate the cleverness of their bullet patterns because they're not fun to me. So I will switch to easy mode and hope that I have a more fun time with the game. Um, and again, they have done a tremendous, tremendous job with this project. Um, but in the future, I hope that if they do work on things, I hope that they can take some lessons from this to improve the, the tightness of their game design. 
Um, because it's it's a harder game, and I understand that, like I said. Um, and so the problem may just be that I need to get good, because beating Hades repeatedly on regular mode and not turning to god mode clearly did not prepare me enough for bullet health. Um, but I think it's a combination of it being a harder game and it not being as well made as it should be. I think if it were an easier game, I would be able to overlook the design challenges. And I think if it were a better designed game, I think I would be able to continue to put, throw myself at the challenge. Um, but because both of those things are issues for me, I will make the decision to choose to have fun with the game because I don't actually have any pride on the line here. I have spent the majority of my gaming career on, on Twitch uh, actively believing that I'm not good at video games. After I beat Dark Souls, I was told I couldn't say that anymore. I think after I've beaten as much of Hades as I have, um, I think, uh, yeah, well, I think that's one of the, that's one of the big differences between the boss fights in this game. Hold on, we're going to, we're going to have a moment where we're going to talk about design decisions here. Um, and again, I don't mean to undermine the tremendous amount of work that this team has done, the incredible skill and talent that they clearly have. The dedication, the fact that they are fans rather than professional, all of these things. I don't want to take away from that. All of that is to be commended. But I will I will criticize my favorite game ever made. I will criticize any game and I will do so in a constructive manner. What feels different about the boss fights in Undertale versus the boss fights in this game? Undertale wanted you to learn how to do a series, how to survive a series of attacks. Toby Fox gives his villains a certain set number of attacks. And occasionally there'll be a variation on one of those. But generally speaking, the more you play that fight, the more you learn how to overcome the, that, particular, that particular boss's patterns because the patterns repeat. This game doesn't want that. This game is more interested in having as many bullet patterns as they can. And they've come up with a lot that are cool, but it doesn't repeat enough and there's not enough room for error for you to be like, oh, this is what I do when that shows up. Like, you do the bullet pattern once and then it shows up again in a different form. And it's like, like, like a lot of them don't show up more than once until they've morphed. So you are constantly having to figure out every single turn what you're supposed to do. And maybe if you've played a lot of bullet hells, you have a more intuitive sense. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to discount the fact that I don't play bullet hells. I've never played another bullet hell in my life. Undertale and Deltarune are literally the only bullet hells I've ever played in my life, unless we're counting um, uh, uh, Hades, which I've been told actually functions kind of like a bullet hell. And it, it, it does kind of make sense to make that comparison. Um, uh, but Hades had repetition as well, because part of the thing is that you're supposed to learn what you're doing. And yeah, so I don't remember the Undyne fight as well, because I had a much easier time with Undyne. I had an abnormally easy time with Undyne. My Undyne experience in the original Undertale was a freak experience because it just so happened that it was based on another game that I had played extensively. So I cannot say anything about the design decisions that went into the Undyne fight because I was unfairly privileged in that combat. Um, but, uh, but it would make sense because my impression of Undertale is that when there's new things, you get an opportunity to learn how the new thing works because the intent isn't to get you. The intent is to prepare you. This game feels like their intent is to get you. And it may be that Toho players, the people who, or Toho, I don't know how to say that, um, that, that, that people who play bullet hells, want 
to fail the first time they get something. They want to feel like it's them versus the developer, which is a design philosophy that some genres have. Where they'll do things that are unfair, unfair things that are gotchas. That's what the players want. That's what the developers are giving them. And everybody involved is happy or you don't play that game because it's not for you. I don't know if bullet hell fans want that experience. They might. In which case, the design decision to do that in this game makes sense from that perspective. And we'll see when I switch to easy mode if they turn off their like bullet hell experience brain and do something that is... Um, a little more here's how to play. Like, that's the thing that makes Dark Souls so good. Dark Souls is a very hard game that wants you to succeed. And so Dark Souls is designed, whether it works for you or not, the, uh, the intent is for Dark Souls to teach you how to play Dark Souls. Dark Souls basically says you have to put your pride at the door and accept that you don't know what you're doing. But as long as you meet with humility most of the time, because there's some bad design decisions and some sections that are like going across a rooftop while people are shooting at you. If you've played Dark Souls, you know which section of the game I'm talking about. Um, there's a few sections that are not well designed, even in Dark Souls, which I think is a very well designed game. But its philosophy is not to have gotchas. I think there are a couple of intentional gotchas. And you're allowed to have a couple of intentional gotchas where you're just like, God. Um, but large, by and large, it wants you to learn. It is hard. It demands that you, you will learn if you are going to progress. But it wants to teach you. And so like, kind of like, what is your, what is your design philosophy? Um, and you have to ask yourself that. And you also have to ask yourself, does that line up with who your audience is likely to be? If this were a traditional bullet hell game, you could do that. But this is Undertale. Undertale is beloved by people who have never played another bullet hell and will never play another bullet hell in their lives. Um, and so we'll see if the easy mode feels better designed for that. Um, but as it is, like, I can't tell because I don't have the experience. Um, but this feels like they are trying to do gotcha stuff. And I don't know that that's their target audience. And again, I feel like having it be normal mode and easy mode makes less sense than uh, having normal mode and hard mode, I think, would make more sense personally. That would be my priority, would be to accommodate the largest number of people and give your crazy no mercy run folks their option. Um, this defaults to no mercy run folks and everybody else is the, is the secondary audience, which is a decision. And yeah, and I'm not saying that, that like, how dare they think of this? I've worked on game jam projects with amateur developers who don't have professional experience or training. And I know, and, and furthermore, in addition to having worked on a couple of game jam projects, I also used to play test my friend. My friend was a TA and then later a professor of game design um, at UT Austin. And I used to play test her students' games every semester for years. So I played a lot of student games. I've played a lot of amateur games. I know the things that they do wrong. I know the things you have to learn to do. And some of this like, but it's hard, but we want it to be hard and be like, well, consider your player. But I know how to solve it. Well, yes, you made the puzzle. <laughs> um, that's a thing that people have to learn. Um, and so it's it makes sense. And I understand where it's coming from. And they're not the only ones that I've seen that. But because this is my channel and what I do is talk about things, strengths and weaknesses, and I'm perfectly happy with what they're doing from a story perspective. I don't really have criticisms on that front, but I do have some gameplay criticisms and I'd like to think they go beyond just get good Lauren. There are some folks who would probably say the problem here is just get good Lauren, but I would like to think those are not the folks who watch me stream. God help you if you try to watch me, of all people, play video games if that's what you like in games. Um, but yeah, 
part of the problem here may be that I'm not the target audience for this game, but that's weird for uh, me to not be the target audience of Undertale. Um, <laughs> you know? I'd like to think I'm the target audience for most things Undertale. But that's fine. It's all right. Not everything has to be perfectly for me. Um, the, the, the thing is, I don't feel that I have the opportuni opportunity to learn the patterns. There's a lot of patterns that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And you could throw it at me 20 times. And if I don't get hit by it, it's a fluke because I will never be able to wrap my head around that. Um, so I, I get the feeling you have a lot more experience um, and probably a brain that's there for better able to process things. So it's easier for you to, to pick up, um, which is awesome. And I love that. And I have noticed that I'm able to pick up on things that I wouldn't have been able to pick up on before, which is very exciting. And I do think I am doing a lot better in this game than I would have expected myself to be able to do in a hard mode default Undertale type game. Like I've gotten better. That's a, it's a cool feeling to be like, wow, a lifetime of feeling like I was just incompetent and would always be incompetent. And I was doomed to be terrible at video games. And there were people who were good at games and I wasn't one of them and I was never going to be one of them. It's like, oh, turns out if you practice things and give yourself time to learn and are given opportunities to learn, you can learn. It was just been very nice. Um, but yeah, so so this game, I would say, like, like, again, they've done a really great job. The fact that I can say... Well, here's ways in which you didn't do it as well as Toby Fox. Like, that's really high standard to beat, you know? I can compare them. They are good enough that I can compare them to one of the most brilliant game developers, game designers, and game writers. I'm going to say it of all time. You know, it's not so bad. <laughs> I can I can say you're in the ballpark of Toby Fox and here's where you fail to to hit that hit that that mark. Um just, there's no shame in that. Well done, and I will groove to your sweet tunes all day long. Just, man, the animation is amazing. Yeah, no. There's a lot of like like okay, so I played Charles Barkley, shut up and jam, Gaiden. I wound up critiquing the story and gameplay of that game, but I really shouldn't have. <laughs> this game actually deserves it because it's good enough. You know, I've got a problem, folks. I've got a problem. I can't stop thinking too hard about story. And apparently now I can, I can think about and talk about gameplays. It's amazing. That's new. I couldn't do that. When I played Undertale, I could not have had any conversations really about the gameplay of Undertale. Isn't that cool? I have developed both the skills and the knowledge, the vocabulary to do that. That's so cool. I like that. Thank you, video games. And thank you for your patience in putting up with me as I run my mouth excessively. Yep, that's right, Kono. We have both developed as characters. I just feel bad for folks who've only watched my streams in 2016 and 2017 and then they bounce in to see me live and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm a very different person, for better or for worse. But it is what it is. It's been a while. We grow. We change. Anyway, anyway, I've gone over by half an hour because I've just been nattering about this. Yeah, somebody left a comment on an old video that had somebody complaining about old Chrono and I was telling them to get off his case because he and I had talked about it and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and now he's my mod. We did great. <laughs> we did great. You know, if the yellow developers go back and try to fix some of this stuff, like, kudos to them. 
because this is a free project and the fact that they want to go back in and, and, and patch things up is really cool. So that's neat. Good for them. That takes humility and, 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 and a good perspective. So yeah, well, I need to go ahead. Sorry, this is what I have to do because it's full screen. Oh, Sophie, I need to give Sophie her attention and get ready for bed. But, well, I don't know if I'll get to ready for bed yet. Um, but thank you all so much for being here, for your patience with me, as always. Um, I'm looking forward to, to uh, please remind me, because I might forget, to switch to easy mode um, before this fight, um, before we load, and then we'll see what happens. Thank you, Chrono. I believe in you. So don't forget, next Tuesday, we're going to be starting, uh, or no, next Tuesday, we're going to finish Ghost Trick. Great game. Great soundtrack. Um, I, I will be starting Chicory after that. We'll keep playing Undertale Yellow on Thursdays, and then we're going to play Outer Wilds on Thursdays. And I have, I'm going to schedule an actual music concert coming up in a couple of weeks. Mr. Lambda. Well, thank you for staying up late or getting up early to see me. I hope you can get some good sleep. Um, I always appreciate the folks who watch the VODs, but, but I appreciate you joining us live, too. Um, so take care of yourselves, and uh, I will see you all another time. Bye!